Hi everybody and welcome to this week's video about making a speedometer in Excel. In this video I will explain step by step how to create the speedometer in Excel. And the speedometer is a perfect way to improve your business dashboards or your presentations. So please enjoy the video. So in this video I will show you how to create this beautiful speedometer in Excel. I'm just using these two little tables to create this beautiful speedometer. And you will see when this cell, I will give it a nice color here. When I change it, you will see my speedometer changes also. So I can get any value in this cell and my speedometer will go to the value I just entered. Well, how do we make this beautiful speedometer? I will delete this one. And we are going to make this one from scratch. Well, you already see I have a donut and a pie table. So that's because we need two types of charts for this speedometer. We need a, need a donut chart and we need a pie chart. We need, need a donut chart for the ring around with the colors. And we need a pie chart for the actual the needle. So let me show you how I made these two tables. Um, the first values here, which I uh, selected now, uh, indicates the colors on the ring, on the top side of the ring. Um, the transparent part is the bottom side of the ring, which is transparent and always make sure this value equals the sum of the colors. So you get a nice half ring. The pi, this is uh, the value where a needle needs to stand. So it is a uh, value you need to uh, give in yourself. Um, this one is the width of the needle. So a lower value will give you a thinner needle and a higher value will give you a thicker needle. And this is the part after the needle. And um, always make sure that you put a function, a formula in this cell. Um, which calculates um, the sum of these values minus the part before the needle and the needle. So the sum of these needs to equal the sum of these. Well, we start with um, selecting this data and press the insert tab on my ribbon. I'm going to insert a donut. Well, this is basically the start of our speedometer. So the first thing we are going to do to, is to delete this legend and my chart title. So I select my chart, click the plus sign and uncheck the chart title and the legend. Now, now I can select my chart, press Ctrl 1 for my, the, uh, for my chart area uh, menu um, and we need to select one of the parts of the donut. Well, you can imagine that uh, this green part will be the bottom of my speedometer and which will be transparent and the other parts are going to the top and will have the nice colors. Um, to do that I need to change the angle of my donut. I can go to the series options, click it and I can change the angle of the first slice. I need to change this to 270 degrees. You can see the green part is on the bottom and the other colors are on the top. Well now I can just click again on the green part to select only the green part, go to fill and line, go to fill and I can say no fill. So now it's transparent and it's not visible anymore. Um, I can select also all the other parts and I can give it a color. So the first part I can give a uh, red color. I will get this one. This one I can get a nice orange color or yellow. It's also nice. This one. I can give this one a green color this again is already yellow and this one i can give a red color so 
And now I have basically divided my uh, upper part in the different colors, which are already um, specified in this donut table. And this is basically the, uh, the first part of our uh, speedometer. Well, what we can do now is add another series for our pie. So what we are going to do is select our chart, click right, click select data, and we are going to add another series. The series name will be needle, and the series values will be these ones. And just click OK. And again, click OK. Well, this is not what we want. We can already see this will be our needle. But what I also want to tell you is to make sure the sum of these three numbers needs to equal the sum of these. That's going to make your life easier when creating this speedometer. Well, what we're going to need to do now is to change the um, chart type of the second donut to a pie. So just select it, click right, and click change series chart type. You see series one and series needle. Series one is the, um, the ring, the donut we created already, and needle is, needs to be a pie chart. So a basic pie. Um, again, I click OK, and now you only see the uh, pie chart. So what we need to do now is change the gray and the blue part into transparent, change the orange needle in a black needle, and again we need to change the angle of the pie chart, because this little meter, the needle, needs to be around here. So for that we are selecting our pie chart, make sure, make sure you select your pie chart, press console 1, and go to the series options. Here again I can select the angle of the first slice. This needs to equal the angle of the donut chart, so we made that 270 degrees, so again I'm going to select 270 degrees. Now I can change the colors of the gray and the blue part, so just make sure you select only the blue part. Again in your format data point menu, click the fill and line and go to no fill. And for the gray part also select no fill. For the orange part you can change this one to a black one and um, now you see, you can close this window and you see you have your speedometer here. When I change this 75 to example 40, uh, the needle changes to the right uh, position. And again, I can just change this. So the last thing we need to do is add a data label to our needle. And uh, to do that, just click in your pie chart and Click again on your needle to select only your needle. Uh, right click on your needle and click add data label. Well you see the data label now um, gives the value 2. Just because the needle has the value 2. What I want is the value 70 here. Because the, uh, the needle is uh, pointing to 70 in my speedometer. For that click the data label and click again until the dots become white, the blue dots become white. Just click in your formula bar and type equals this cell which uh, says 70, press enter and now your data label will equals the value in this cell. So when I click 40, enter 40 in the cell it goes to 40 and 70 goes to 70 again. I can just uh, make it uh, bold and some bigger and uh, that's basically my speedometer in Excel. So thank you very much for watching this video about creating a speedometer in Excel. 
I hope you can optimize your dashboards or presentations in the future with this beautiful speedometer. And if you liked the video, please consider subscribing to my channel to watch a lot more of my Excel videos. And please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you.